हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड नमस्ते एवरी वन आई एम दबल सर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द ऑनलाइन सेशन ऑफ विद्याधीश विद्या संकुल स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट योर स्टैंडर्ड एथ सप्लीमेंट्री रीडर नंबर टू दैट इज द चिल्ड्रन एट वर्क बाय गीता वुल्फ देन ऑरिजित सेन एंड अनुष्का रविशंकर ओके सो दिस स्टोरी इज एक्चुअली Uh, from trash, from trash. Okay, uh, if you see at the end of the chapter, uh, you will find like that. Okay, what is written over there? Yeah, we'll see this thing. So as you can see here, from trash on rag picker children and recycling. Now, what does this mean? Okay, so these are the writers of this story. As I told you, Geeta Wolf, Anushka Ravi Shankar, and Orijit Sen. from trash trash means what it is a unique combination of fiction and fact now fiction means what fiction means imaginary stories right so a unique combination of fiction and fact fact are true okay so uh, this is such a kind of story and it is based on real life experiences of the rag picker children okay experiences of the street children in chennai okay so basically in this chapter there are two young kids who are the main characters of this chapter an 11 year old boy uh, whose name was velu v e l u velu and a girl who was actually a rag picker and whose name is jaya she is almost of the similar age to velu okay so what is happening that in this chapter that is the children at work okay we'll go to the first page of the textbook yes here we can find out so in supplementary to the children at work uh, tells us about a tale tale means a story okay uh, about an 11 year old boy whose name is velu and who left his house okay because he did not want to live at his house because his father used to beat him a lot okay and he could not bear that thing even for one more day okay velu and his sister they used to work in the farms but the father used to take away all the money for drinking okay so this boy left the home and he took a train for chennai okay so he is visiting chennai and after visiting chennai this boy who was actually very young just 11 years old uh, did not know what to do okay and uh, he had no idea that how he would manage himself and how he would be able to live a life in that unknown place or unknown city okay so basically in this chapter okay we come to know or we learn about the story right we come to know that how the children uh, like velu okay end up working uh, instead of studying at school right so he was actually 11 year old boy whose age was actually of uh, studying in the school but due to the problems and difficulties he had to work as a rag picker in the city okay and uh, he does not get a chance to study in the school so when he reaches chennai and he lands on the chennai platform he did not know anyone over there he was very nervous and he did not know what to do and where to go okay how he would survive over there at that time one girl as i told you whose name was jaya uh, called that boy and she understood what his situation was and uh, further what happens to that boy okay to find out that let us begin with the explanation of the chapter from the textbook okay that how he lives in the chennai and was he able to survive over there and how he was able to survive over there with whose help so let us find out in this chapter okay which goes like this uh, there are many reasons why children have to work some help their family make a livelihood that means if the family is poor enough they don't have enough money 
then the child or the children cannot even go to the school also for studies and they are forced or they are compelled to work at some or the other place and earn money for livelihood okay others who run away from unhappy homes needs to support themselves that means many a times uh, the problem is not the poverty but the problem is family problem that means uh, either the father or the mother they are not treating the child in a proper way so the child feels uh, that it is not suitable for him to stay at that place and he runs away from the home so usually such children uh, their life becomes very difficult they need to struggle a lot to keep themselves alive okay and the children who have who have to work can't go to school and play like other children of their age so that is what the writer is trying to tell over here that usually this kind of young children whose actual age is of studying in the school don't get chance to study in the school okay like the other children of their own age okay so let us begin with the first part okay what happens let us find it out so introduction about value is given okay value an 11 year old boy runs away from home okay so he is running away from the home so these are the main points in the form of short summary what is all given in the further paragraph okay so we'll just find it out he wanders about wanders means he keeps on moving from one place to another about for hours before getting on a train to chennai without a ticket he did not have money even to pay the uh, money for the ticket also okay tired and hungry he doesn't know where to go when a stranger at the station shouts a word of welcome okay so this is what we are going to study in the part 1 so let us begin when the kanyakumari express pulled in at a chennai central okay what is given when the kanyakumari express pulled in at chennai central pulled in that means it arrived at the uh, chennai central that is chennai station it took velu some time to get off that means he was still very nervous and scared because he didn't knew anyone in chennai so he was surprised and nervous that how he would be able to survive in a city like chennai okay when he finally stood on the platform that means when he is landing on the platform outside the train okay he is coming out of the train his legs felt wobbly wobbly means unsteady that means it were shaking the legs were shaking okay out of uh, frightness okay he was very much frightened okay as if he was still on a moving train okay as if he was still on a moving train so as i told you that when anyone is frightened their leg legs uh, they shiver and in the case of velu also as he was very much nervous his legs were shivering okay oi out of the way that means as we all know that at the station when the train arrives there is too much crowd over there and no one can stand still at one place they need to keep on moving otherwise the people they will keep on pushing them okay so what the porter is saying oi side okay oi out of the way that means go aside okay move over aside a porter porter means coolie okay went by with a loaded trolley we have seen that the porters they carry the luggage okay value jumped aside that means the value as instructed he jumped aside because the trolley was passing by okay he sat on a bench on the platform okay he sat on a bench on the platform putting his small bundle down so he might have carried one bundle he is sitting on the bench and he is keeping that bundle aside in all his 11 years in all his 11 years he had never seen so many people right so it was for the very first time he was seeing so many people together at one place that is at the railway station okay except once a year that means usually when he visited the village fair at that time he used to see such a huge crowd okay so what is written except once a year at the fair in his village okay 
so that is what is written over here right moving further people walked by bumping into him with their suitcases okay so what is written people walked by bumping into him that means they were pushing him okay and he was getting hurt with the suitcase and all this thing so a voice announced something on a loud speaker usually you might have seen at the stations there is railway stations or at airports also right there is a continuous announcements going on on the loud speaker near him a group of people sat okay what is written let us find out near him a group of people sat on okay sat on their luggage that means they where velu was sitting the people kept their luggage next to him looking at a tv hanging from the roof that means at the stations the tvs are hanging like this the people are sitting downstairs and the tvs are like th in this position so that the people can have a look at it okay the noise was terrible right usually we know at the railway stations there are so many people it is so crowded okay that there is too much noise over there velu put his head down on his knees okay so you can just imagine how velu was sitting putting his head down okay on his knees feeling miserable and exhausted that means he was very much tired because from the since last two days he has he had not eaten anything okay he had run away from his village two days ago so as i told you that two days ago he had left his village and therefore he had not eaten anything and therefore he was exhausted means tired for two days he had eaten nothing but some peanuts and a piece of jaggery okay jaggery means gourd in his bundle he carried a shirt a towel and a comb that means he was having a bundle that means uh, something like portly okay okay uh, in which he was having his uh, shirt a towel and a comb that is what he carried with him in the train from his village he had walked for most of the first day to kanur and then got on the train to chennai so for the very first day he kept on wandering or moving at kanur okay and then got the train to chennai what is written further velu had no money for a ticket but luckily the ticket collector didn't come to the unreserved compartment that means usually when we visit or go through the uh, train the ticket collector that is known as tc comes and checks the ticket of all the people but he was lucky enough that the ticket collector did not arrive in the unreserved compartment so therefore he could easily reach chennai without the ticket also he had tried to sleep on the floor near the door so usually we have seen uh, a kind of lobby is there in the train okay near the door so he tried to sleep over there a group of men next to him had played cards and shouted all nights so as i said that uh, near the door it is a kind of lobby and the people usually sit over there in the unreserved compartment or okay a what new to town a called out a rough voice that means the people who were playing the cards okay they were trying to ask this boy that are you new to the town right velu opened his eyes okay there were a lot of people standing around but nobody was looking at him okay so there were a lot of people standing around but no one was looking at him here hey he turned around okay so he turned around behind him was a girl around his own age okay so this boy is velu and here you can find the girl at the station who was almost of her age wearing a long banyan okay that came down to her knees that came down to her knees her hair was stiff okay that means uh, usually when the people they don't take bath or when they don't wash their hair for a long period of time the hair becomes stiff okay it is not soft uh, soft it becomes hard 
एंड ब्राउनिश एंड शी हैड अ ह्यूज सेक ऑन वन शोल्डर ह्यूज सेक सेक मीन्स कोथड़ो ओके गनी बैग वी कैन से सो अज सेक ऑन हर शोल्डर शी वॉज पिकिंग अप डर्टी प्लास्टिक कप्स फ्रॉम द फ्लोर एंड स्टफिंग दैम दैट मीन्स शी वॉज पिकिंग अप द प्लास्टिक कप्स फ्रॉम द स्टेशन एंड शी वॉज स्टफिंग दैट मीन्स शी वॉज पुटिंग इट इन साइड द बैग ओके मुविंग फर्दर सो दैट इज इन टू हर सेक Why is she calling me? Thought Velu. That means at that point of time, Velu was thinking because he didn't knew anyone in that city that is in Chennai. So he was thinking that why this girl is calling me, okay? And why is a girl wearing a banyan, right? He is again surprised because he finds a girl who is wearing a banyan, okay? No, need to stare stupidly. okay no need to stare stupidly so who is actually saying this words that is the girl who is opposite to him what is your name velu muttered velu looking away okay so what is uh, the boy saying velu muttered means say something in a low or barely adib, uh, audible voice especially in dissatisfaction that means he was not uh, happy he was sad enough and therefore he spoke very slowly which is known as muttered okay so i'll speak out the meaning again muttered means say something in a low or barely audible voice low or barely audible voice especially in dissatisfaction okay so value muttered value looking away that means he was dissatisfied he was not interested and just he simply told his name velu and then he looked other side so mr velu said the girl looking at his bundle run away from home right as she saw that in his hand there was a bundle in which some uh, one of his shirt and other things were there one or two things she understood that he might have run away from the home so what she is asking run away from home right Value didn't answer because he was very much scared, and he didn't want an unknown person to know that he had run away from his home. Okay. He didn't want to tell some strange girl what he had done. He had run away because he couldn't stand. Couldn't stand means he couldn't withstand, or he couldn't tolerate. Okay. Couldn't stand his father beating him for one more day. so that means as i told you earlier uh, his father used to beat him a lot and uh, he could not tolerate that thing even for one more day and therefore he left his home okay his father would snatch away all the money value and his sisters earned and spend it on drink that means value as well as the other sisters of him who used to work and earn money all their money was taken away by their father and it was spent behind drinking alcohol okay what is written further let us find it out okay what is written don't think i don't know this is what the girl is saying don't think that i don't know this place is full of children like you that means she is trying to say that there are so many children like you who are staying in chennai okay so what are you going to do here become rich right so she is trying to have a kind of conversation with him she sat down next to him velu shifted away slightly that means velu shifted a bit because she sat exactly next to him he felt hunger pinching him and pressed his stomach with a grimace okay so what is happening he was too much hungry because since last two days he had not eaten anything except the peanuts okay and the jaggery so now uh, his stomach was pinching okay it was paining out of hunger so what is written over here that he felt hunger pinching him and pressed his stomach with a grimace the meaning is already given okay the word uh, 
meaning of the word grimace right you can find it over here in your textbook twisted expression on the face due to pain what is given twisted expression okay on the face due to pain hungry that means while looking at the boy the girl understood that he might be very hungry so is again uh, she is again asking the question hungry ask the girl you won't get food by sitting here glumly again the meaning of glumly is given it means sadly or gloomily okay so she is saying that if you will sit here like this in a sad mood no one will come over here and give you any kind of food okay making faces i can find some if you want so what the girl is saying that if you want food i can find some food for you okay she picked up her sack and started to walk away that means she, she again took the sack put it on her shoulder and she started moving velu stayed on the bench that means he did not move he still stayed on the bench only what should he do that means this was the question going on in his mind that what should he do now should he follow this girl where was she going to take him right so these are all the questions going on in velu's mind okay she was disappearing into the ground that means slowly and gradually as she was moving away she was getting disappeared in the ground in the crowd okay there were so many people at the platform and if immediately velu did not follow that girl she would disappear and he would not be able to find her so he had to make up his mind quickly all right he decided anyway i have no idea where to go that means uh, he did not know anyone in the city he did not have any kind of idea what he would uh, what he will do over there or what or how he will survive over there okay so he jumped up and ran after her that means he is jumping from the bench he is running after the girl okay she wasn't even looking back to see where he was that means the girl just told him that if you want food i can find some for you and that was all about it and velu did not know anything about the city where he would stay what he would do how he would survive and therefore he uh, jumped from the bench and he moved towards the girl okay moving to the next page now what is given on the next page let us find it out second paragraph or second part starts okay so what all will find in this paragraph is velu follows his friend through the crowded streets to a big building behind the building there is a big garbage bin velu wonders why they are there at all okay so let us try to find it out okay how the story proceeds further okay so what happened he caught up with the girl that means he was now again moving next to the girl okay as she was leaving the station as she was leaving the station when they got to the road okay velu found that the vehicles kept coming and never stopped for anyone that means as they were in the chennai city it is a metropolitan city and there is a too much crowd or population in that city so when they came out of the station there were so many vehicles moving with high speed that it was very difficult for them to cross the road okay so smoke and dust flew at him from all sides that means there were so many vehicles that everywhere there was smoke and dust particles in the air okay making his head spin making his head spin that means he was not able to understand what to do and how he will be able to cross the road okay they had to wait for a long time before they could find a gap to run through okay so the girl and the boy whose name was velu they were waiting there for a longer period of time until they got a gap to cross the road okay velu kept hesitating and the girl finally dragged him to the other side now what happened velu was still hesitating that means he was still finding it difficult to cross the road but the girl caught hold of him and she just dragged the boy okay kheech ke le jana that is dragged the boy 
ok. So, here you can see in the picture ok. So, this is the crowd as you can see and the girl she is holding the head and dragging the boy to the other side ok. What do you think you are doing? Grazing cows? If you stand around in the middle of the road like that, you will be chutney. That means, what she is trying to say that you will, uh, you will be stuck over there and the vehicle will come and it will pass upon you ok and uh, you will become a chutney. We all know what is the meaning of chutney ok. Velu's heart was still beating fast. That means, the way she dragged Velu. He was very afraid and therefore, the heart was still beating very fast. He looked back at the Chennai central station and the traffic speeding by. Okay. So, now they were on the opposite side of the road okay. and from there he was again noticing or having a look at the Chennai railway station. Okay. How had they managed to come through that? That means, uh, he was still surprised that there is so much crowd on the road and he is still confused that how is it possible for them that they cross the road ok. They walked along the side of the road under some ok. You can find it over here. Yes. So, uh, the meaning is given over here making his head spin giving him a headache. So, that is already what I have told you. Chutney here means uh, as I told you the car will run over him okay, and will get killed or crushed in that accident. Okay. So, there were huge signboards okay, on the side of the road where they were moving. Velu looked up at the picture. Okay. Velu looked up at the pictures. Bunyans, car tires, pens, a woman holding a box. The writing was all in English. So, he did not know what it meant. Right? That means, he is trying to have a look at the holdings, but everything was written in English. So, therefore, he was not able to understand anything. The girl turned on to a wide bridge. That means, from that place, the girl turned on to the wide bridge and walked up. Well, you stopped and peeped over the railings. Okay? That means, the bridge was there over and uh, from there he was trying to peep ok holding the railings. Railings are the uh, steel material which are usually placed at the uh, parapets or that is the wall ok at the bridge. Under him the road ran into the city. So, we all might have or you all might have noticed the bridges from that below that also the road passes or crosses ok. In the distance, he could see huge buildings and towers and more roads. Okay. So, from where they were standing, at a distance, they could see so many more buildings and even roads which were passing by. Okay. See that big building with the wall around it. Okay. So, that is what the girl is trying to show him. If you are not careful, you will be soon be counting bars there. So, counting bars there means? Bar actually means jail. So, she is trying to say, Velu, okay, that if you are not careful, right, then a day will come when you will be behind the bar. That means, you will be inside the jail. The girl grinned and pointed at a huge building, okay. So, what is happening? The girl grinned. Grin means uh, give a broad smile like this, okay. So, the girl grinned and pointed at a huge building ok that was actually a police station ok. What is given further? Value squinted ok. So, in the next line what is given? Value squinted and read the Tamil sign central jail ok. So, squinted means what? Look at something with one or both eye partly closed in an attempt to see more clearly. Usually, if something is there at a great distance we try to look like this ok or like this. So, that is squinted ok. So, value squinted and read the Tamil sign 
what was written over there central jail why i haven't done anything wrong so as the goal told him that if you will not be careful you will be behind the bar so well we surprised and asking the girl again that why because i have not done anything wrong then why should i be in the jail okay you don't have to do anything just don't get caught that's all so what the girl is saying that you have not done anything wrong but one more thing what i would like uh, like to let you know is that just don't get caught okay by the police what does she mean well you wondered meanwhile the girl was already heading down the bridge that means they were on the bridge now she was going down or heading down okay with a sack on her shoulder what was in it right now the value was uh, even more surprised he wanted to know that what was there inside such a big sack okay he had seen her putting plastic cups into it at the station what are you carrying in that bag so this is what value is asking to the girl things bottles paper right so this is what the girl answered well you wondered what she was doing with them right because all those is ultimately a scrap useless thing then what was she doing with all those thing why was she collecting or why was she picking it up and putting in the sack but he felt shy to ask any more questions okay so therefore he could not ask anything more it was still morning but the sun blasted down on the tar and velus bare feet burn okay so it was still morning that means it was the day time but the sun blasted down that means there was so much heat that the road okay the tar on the road it might have melted a bit and uh, the legs were burning like anything okay because he was with a bare feet he had not worn anything in his feet so the legs were burning like anything it was not like walking on a mud road okay so usually on the mud road uh, there is a moisture in the mud and therefore uh, it's not too much hot okay he was soaked with sweat he was soaked with sweat sweat means pasina okay he tried hard to walk in the shade and keep up with the girl at the same time okay that means he was still walking next to the girl trying to Uh, match the distance okay and as he had not worn anything the feet was bare okay uh, he was trying to find the shade and walk in that shade she walked really fast how far away was the food that means again he is trying to ask her that where is the food you told me that you will find me some food so where is the food after almost an hour of walking they stopped in front of a big building what was written there shri raja rajeshwari prasanna kalyana mandapam that means it might be a kind of hall where usually the marriages or the occasions take place read velu slowly a sign with letters made of flowers said groom so we can understand that it was a marriage hall where the marriage was about to take place or the marriage was going on groom means dulha okay and bride means dulhan so what is written further jv vinayagan bride rani okay so the name of the groom was jv vinayagan and the name of the bride that is dulhan was rani velu stared at the big cars parked outside okay one of the cars had a flower garland garland is usually har okay round shape uh arrangement of the flowers is known as garland or in gujarati we say har and roses tapped on to it the girl looked around pulled one off quickly that means from that garland she pulled off one flower and stuck it in her hair okay so usually the girls they do this thing okay come on she said that means further what she is saying that come on she said are we going to hit here so value actually felt that uh, they will go inside the marriage hall okay uh, anyhow and they will have food over there so he is asking are we going to eat here asked value looking at the huge hall and the people inside okay 
what the girl is saying hopes that means we hope so said the girl shaking her thumb under his nose okay she led him behind the hall there was a big garbage so she led him behind the hall so actually velu might have expected that the girl will take him inside the marriage hall but what did they do they went behind the hall where there was a big garbage okay so garbage been overflowing with rubbish that means there was a, a lot of stuff uh, put over there and it was overflowing the garbage bin was overflowing okay two goats were standing on the pile pile means the uh, in gujarati we say dhaglo okay two goats were standing on the pile fighting for a banana leaf a cloud of flies buzzed around their legs that means usually we have seen the flies uh, around the garbage and all those things so in the similar way there were even flies over there there was a rotten smell in the air that means it was not smelling good okay rotten smell the girl picked up a squashy banana okay squashy that means which was squashed okay so she took squashy banana okay and uh, what happened and held it out to velu that means to she took the banana and gave it to velu okay as you can see here in the picture okay you can see the girl holding the banana in her hand and giving it giving it to velu here is your food velu was shocked are we going to eat their leftovers okay so usually in the garbage the leftover food is uh placed she what do you think i am what the boy is saying she what do you think i am right are we going to, uh, so what he is saying what do you think i am a dog i only take untouched food so that is what the boy is saying here some more catch that means the girl is not interested in what velu is saying again she is keeping on finding food for him and again what she is doing she is giving it to the boy and saying catch she threw him a vada okay velu looked at it with distaste okay so what happened velu looked at it with distaste distaste means uh, with mild dislike that means he was not satisfied or not happy but as he did not have any kind of choice he had to accept that thing okay moving further so you can see this is the garbage where the kids are there and trying to find out the food okay come on hero eat it so that is what the girl is saying you think i like it so that is what the girl is saying that do you think that i like this food and all okay i told you i will find you something to eat don't think i have money that means the girl is saying that i told you that i will find food for you don't think that i have enough money that i will buy or purchase food for you and give it to you okay you would better eat what you get until you have your own money so that is what the girl is saying what the girl is saying that once you start earning your own money you can purchase or buy food for yourself uh, until then you just eat whatever i am giving it to you okay velu hesitated but his stomach squeezed him again that means there was a stomach ache because of uh, hungry hungryness okay so he gulped down the banana and vada that means he started eating down okay he swallowed that thing his stomach felt better immediately okay he could have eaten at least 10 times more but the girl could find only one more banana which she ate herself that means the velu was very hungry and how much food was given to him so almost 10 times more food if it was given to him he would be able to get that food or eat that food okay it's too early they have only eaten tiffin okay it's too early they have only eaten tiffin so this is what the girl is saying right if you are still hungry you will have to wait for them to finish lunch okay so it was the day time 
morning time and uh, as they were standing behind the hall marriage hall so what she is saying that they have just eaten the tiffin or the breakfast and if you want more food if you are still hungry uh, hungry and if you want to eat more food let this people finish the lunch okay you can wait if you want i have to work that means the girl is saying that if you want to wait over here you can wait over here but i have to work okay and therefore i need to leave this place immediately okay so i am going she picked up a couple of bottles from the heap and threw it into her sack okay then she walked off then she started walking velu panicked that means uh, now he was again very much scared panicked means scared he realized that if the girl left him he had no idea where he was and what to do okay because he was unknown okay he was not known uh, where he should go what he should do because the city was totally new to that boy okay it was better to stick to her she seemed to know her way around okay she seemed to know her way around that means she knew a lot of things okay uh, so therefore what did the boy decide that he will strictly follow the girl and do whatever she is saying he ran after her again a he called he did not even know the girl's name that means from uh, the station till the time they were together okay even the boy did not know the girl's name a what is your name he asked hurrying behind her that means he was running behind and he was trying to ask the girl what is your name she stopped and turned around oh ho so you have been following me around without even knowing my name then she is saying her name jaya okay i am not following you what then who got you food can i come with you right so what jaya is saying that what then if you are not following then what are you doing right and again what she is asking who got you the food right then what the boy is saying can i come with you where are you going come if you want that is what the girl is saying this bag is full i have to go home to get another one okay so the bag she was carrying the sack was totally filled now and she needed another sack to uh, get it filled and therefore she needed to go home okay so what she is saying that i need to go home to get another one okay so the third part begins where jaya and velu okay walked along the roads for half an hour until they came to a bridge across a dirty trickle of water okay so they are still walking along the road for half an hour and uh, again they came to a bridge across a dirty trickle of water that means the uh, water was passing over there okay we are in triplicane we are in triplicane so triplicane is uh, one of the oldest neighborhood of chennai okay one of the oldest neighborhood of chennai it is the name of a place okay so we are in triplicane now see that's uh, buckingham canal so buckingham canal is the name of a canal in tamil nadu okay who said this said jaya right moving further velu well started this was a canal near some puddles of water was row of the strangest huts he had ever seen okay so what he is saying now uh, near some puddles of water that means still some water was lying over there okay and there were rows of the strangest huts he had ever seen that means there were so many huts lying over there they were built out of all sort of things metal sheets tires bricks woods and plastics okay they stood crookedly and looked as if they would fall any moment that means they were built in such a way that they could fall at any moment right crookedly means not stra uh, straight okay they were curved not in a proper order so they were not formed properly 
and what value felt that this hertz can fall any time okay is this where you live this houses are strange said value in our village the houses are made of mud and palm leaves so what value is saying in our village the houses are made of mud and palm leaves okay chaya went around to one of the huts that means she went inside one of the huts and dumped her sack outside that means she kept the sack outside then she picked up an empty one okay she is picking up the empty sack and again what she is saying let's go she turned to velu and gave him a show okay so she gave him a show show means push roughly okay she turned to velu that means she came out of the house she picked one sack she turned towards velu okay and gave him a show show means push roughly that means to push roughly what or why she did uh, why sh uh, did she do like that because velu was still standing still over there and therefore she saying at least help me now here wear this and come with me that means she is trying to say the boy that now you st uh, stop standing still and try to help me out okay she threw him a pair of old shoes without laces and pushed a sack and a stick into his hands okay so usually you might have seen the uh, rag pickers right rag pickers are the people who usually uh, try to get the waste materials and put it in their sack and they go and sell this scrap to the other people okay and usually they have a stick in their hand so that they can easily find out the things what is lying on the road or on the sides of the road okay so velu was confused what work did she want him to do with these things the only work he had ever done was on the land owners farm weeding and taking cows okay so what work he had done weeding and taking cows out to graze that means he used to take uh, work on the land owners farm that means he had worked on only in the farms where he used to carry the cows outside for grazing work okay and he used to do the weeding work that means to cut the unnecessary or uh, unnecessary plants which are grown over there in the field are there any farms in the city he asked jaya so usually in the city areas we don't find any farms right so that is what we know okay yeah so here is the picture where you can find the hut behind okay made up in a uh, crookedly way right and jaya is holding over the stick and a sack to the boy whose name was velu okay the moon, uh, meanings are already given over here so let us move further she laughed and thumped her stick on the ground thumped means hit or strike heavily hit or strike heavily okay so she laughed and thumped her stick on the ground farms there are no farms here we are rag pickers so rag pickers means i already told you rag pickers are the people who usually roam around or they wander from one place to another trying to find out all the scraps or the waste materials which are lying on the road like the plastic bottles or the carry bags okay or the metal things and like rag pickers see my sack full of things i collected that means jaya is as, uh, is asking the boy have you seen my sack it was full of the things that i have collected collected from where asked velu from rubbish bins that is the garbages okay where else you collect rubbish velu had never heard of such a thing that means velu had never ever heard such a kind of thing that the people even collect the waste material or the scrap what is written further let us find out a blockhead it's not any rubbish okay what is the girl saying a blockhead blockhead means a very stupid person blockhead means a very stupid person so what the girl is saying a blockhead 
it's not any rubbish that means we are not collecting any kind of rubbish or any kind of waste material okay only paper plastic glass such thing that means she is saying that only these things are to be collected not all the things okay all waste materials we sell it to jam bazar jaggu okay jam bazar jaggu so who is uh, jaggu that might be a person uh, who might be purchasing the uh, waste material from the rag pickers okay so what is written value was puzzled puzzled means confused he had heard of people throwing away rubbish that means usually the people they throw away rubbish but it was for the very first time he was listening to someone who was gathering rubbish okay but why would anyone want to buy rubbish so this is what the question is asking who is jam bazar jaggu why is he buying all this you think he buys it for show okay so what is the girl saying you think he buys it for show he sells it to a factory come on i don't have time to waste like you that means the girl is saying that i don't have enough time to talk with you and waste my time so we need to carry on okay velu did not move okay so what is happening velu did not move he hadn't run away and come to this new place to dig through garbage bins that means he did not move he was stand still he was standing on one place only because what he is thinking is that he had not come to the place like chennai just to pick up the garbage okay jaya poked at him with her stick okay poked means to point out like this so she pointed out at velu with her stick look here okay she shouted if someone gets there before us we don't get anything so usually rag pickers right if other rag pickers they arrive before they will get more things than the rag people pickers who come later on okay don't just stand there posing that means in a stand still position big hero i am trying to help you who filled your stomach today again she is asking the same question right so that velu Uh, knows that uh, she is helping her out and even he needs to help her out okay velu scratches his head and side like this and side side means to take a long deep breath with dissatisfaction okay i will do it for now he thought until i find a better job that means velu did not have any kind of option and therefore he decides finally to help jaya in whatever work she is doing until he gets a better job so this is how the chapter comes to an end okay and uh, along with that i'll end my lecture over here so that's it for today students thank you everyone for listening to me and stay healthy stay safe